Good morning. Good morning. It's Wealth on the Beach Club every Wednesday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, man. I'm so excited. This is my favorite time of the week that I get to share my thoughts about how to create massive passive residual income and get your business moving in the right direction so that you can have every bit of the dream that you want to get, right? I mean, I talk about the juice of life, man, just getting all the juice, squeezing it all out, man, getting everything that you can get, enjoying everything that, uh, uh, that you want to enjoy. And so uh, I got some really, really cool stuff to talk about today. Um, one of my favorite subjects to talk about, I know that you guys are going to love this. You guys are going to be excited about today, all right? Uh, we're talking about how to create 10,000 in personal production month after month after month after month so that you can build your story, build your run, and get your life to exactly where you want it to get. So we are going to, I'm going to share my screen right now, and uh, we are going to, um, I'm going to share my screen. Let's do that. We got that. So let's do it. Let's rock and roll. I am excited. All right. So why you need to do 10,000 in personal production. So there's a lot of different reasons. and We're going to talk about all of them today. But uh, I really think the number one reason is so that you can build your story. I mean, yeah, look, we got to make money. We, we got to stay in business. The, the more personal production you do, the higher comp you're going to have available to you. Uh, obviously there has to do, you know, there, another reason has to do with you duplicating the process and you sharing, uh, what you're doing, how you're doing it, why you're doing it. And you're creating an inspiring story that people can follow, right? If you're making money, people want to make money, they'll follow you and they'll end up doing what you're doing. And if they make money and become successful, you make money and become successful. That's the, the name of the game. And so uh, let's, let's get down to business because like, why, why do you need to do 10,000 personal, right? Because, because corporate America, right? Sucks. All right. Corporate America is not the answer. Um, number two, winning feels good. Contribution to the world. Show a great example to your teammates, the money. Okay. More comp. When you're leading from the front, you make more money, okay? And then freedom and choices. I mean, that's, I think, what we're all after, long range. We're after the freedom, the choices, the, the options for our life. The price of success is hard work, dedication to the job at hand, and, what, and the determination to get uh, to that. Whether we win or lose, we have applied the best of ourselves to the task at hand. And so that's the, the, the price of success. It's hard work, man. It's, it's diligence. It's determination. It's all out courage, man. It's like going all the way every single day that you're alive. And, and I, you know, I'm trying, I'm not perfect. I screw up about every day, but man, I just keep trying. I just keep getting better. I just keep, you know, improving. And that's all that we can uh, ever do. You know, you guys have seen my run before 98 to 2003, 2400 appointments, uh, 171 directs, uh, 720 sales, uh, almost 5000 base shop sales over that period of time. That's when things started to kick off. That's when my life changed. That's the decision. That was the decision time. And every one of you has to have a little a little uh, PowerPoint presentation one day where you can put your run, your first five years, your uh, beginning five years. Look, if you've been here for 20 years, you can start a five-year run right now, six-year run right now. You could do that right now. You could say, I'm done messing around. I'm going to go get everything that I can go get out of this thing. And, and I'm going to make it happen. That's it. It's just done. It's just a decision. It's over. No more thinking, no more anal, I mean, analyzing, no, no more, no more overthinking this. It just, it's got to get done and you just go get it done. That's it. Right? And, and, and as you can see, the key number here is 2,400 appointments. That's the key number. Okay. 
2,400 appointments. That's the key number. And the directs really are not that good if you think about it, right? We were not taught or, or not, you know, recruiting was not the emphasis from the base shop that I came from. Now, again, this is a long, long time ago. And so today, you know, the numbers are going to be hugely different. I mean, in two years, I'm going to be able to recruit as many people now as it took me, you know, six years to do. So everything collapsing time frames is happening right now before your eyes. And, uh, and I'm excited about that. That's a, that's a really fun thing to do. So, all right. So, so let's, let's, let's start with number one. How do you do 10,000 in personal production month after month after month after month? You make a list. If you were going to get married tomorrow, who would you invite to your wedding? Soccer parents, sports friends, old classmates, relatives, old recruits, clients, new prospects. And of course, the list goes on and on, right? I mean, we got group presentations. We got, uh, you know, people that we do business with. How about, how about, uh, you know, social media contacts. How about relationships we're building there? How about, how about ad and lead generation? So making a list has never been more fun, never been more exciting, never been more, uh, you know, accessible and easier to do. So this business, you got to work it like it's a job, run it like it's a business and treat it like it's your family. Work it like a job, right? I mean, so you get up every day, just like if you were going to a job, you get up every day and you go to work. You have a schedule. When you have a job, they tell you to be there at nine o'clock in the morning and you get to get home at, you know, you get to leave at six o'clock, seven o'clock at night. That is a job. Now, if you worked your business the same way and, and, and you worked your business like a job, then guess what? you're gonna have more of an opportunity to, to get results and to stay in business. Most people fail in business, especially when they become entrepreneurs and, and go on their own, simply because they don't, they're not organized. So they don't stay organized. They don't, they don't stay focused on, 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 on their daily schedule, their daily habits. You know, we, we call it full-time or full-time, F-O-O-L. That's full-time. A lot of people go full-time. Well, they act like fools. They get up at 10 o'clock in the morning. They have their coffee. They're relaxing. They watch a little bit of TV. They do a bunch of, you know, uh, you know watching videos on YouTube that have nothing to do with their business. I mean, you know, they just waste time all day long. The days go like that. Instead of getting up, getting up in the morning and saying, I already knew, and by the way, I already know what my day looks like from last night. I already wrote down a list of all the things that I need to do. I already wrote it down last night. So I'm, I'm prepared. I'm set. I got, you know, the wealth on the beach club. I got the, my, my podcast interviews. I'm doing a couple podcasts today. I got my lead calls that I'm making. I've already left several uh, videos this morning, just confirming that people were going to be on those lead calls with me. I've already worked out this morning. I've already uh, posted on my social media. I've already responded to probably 30 DMs this morning. I've already watched an, uh, 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 an informational YouTube video. You could, I mean, when you get up at five o'clock, five thirty in the morning, I mean, there's a, I've already listened to my audio book this morning. I've already posted my, my podcast because my podcast pops out. Uh, a new podcast comes out every Wednesday morning. I've already promoted that on my Instagram. I did that all by myself. Like all of that was me. That was me. So there's no excuse for not getting things done. When you, if you're organized and you're plan and, and, and you you plan things, and you work it like a job, but you got to run it like a business. Run it like an actual business. What does that mean? That means you get up every day. You try to make a profit, right? How could you go a whole week without writing a sale? How could you go a whole week without recruiting somebody? Look, you're supposed to run it like like a business. Where at the end of the year, did you make a profit? 
how much money did you make last year, last week, yesterday? Track that stuff. And if you're not making money, then you're doing something wrong. And when you're doing something wrong, you go to your coach, you go to your RVP, you go to somebody that you trust and you say, look, I'm trying to get results. I'm not getting results. Can you help me? Treat it like it's your family, right? Care about it, right? I, I, I care about my business. I care about uh, the, the people that I'm working with. Why do you think everybody I know has my personal cell phone number? You know how I know if, if you don't care about somebody, if, you're, if you will not give them your cell phone number, that means you don't care about that person. Really, I mean, you don't really care about the person. Now, you might be in business with the person, but you don't care about the person. Everybody has my cell phone number. If they ask for it, I'll give it to them. Because I care about people. I care about helping people. I care about making a difference. I treat it like it's my family. I care about my family. I care about my, my business family. And I treat them like family. I mean, you could call them business family, but they're just family anyways. So this is the kind of organization I'm talking about, right? On the left side, those are all the appointments that I need to set. Those are all the people that I need to write up. You have to have a list like that. A, a massive list. It's all in my phone. It's, it's all in my, 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 uh, um, you know, my notepad. That's it. Simple. And so all I do every day is I just go down that list and try to check them off. All I'm trying to do is just put a little, a little done sign, right? The little emoji with the little square with a check mark in it. That's all I want to do is just check, 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 check. You got all my sales right here. How, did we recruit them? Did I get an IBA? Did I get a sale? Did the policy get issued? So are we following up with people? Never stops. These lists continue on all the time. I never stop making lists. I never stop building lists. Lists keep you organized. Lists make sure that you don't forget about people. One of the worst things is when you're building a business and you forgot about somebody and then you meet them a year later and they're like, yeah, I already met with somebody from your company. I'm already a client. They already recruited me. I've, I, that's happened to me before. And it's probably, if you've been around here long enough, it's probably happened to you too. And that sucks, man. It sucks when you lose a sale like that because you could have had that person. You just didn't follow up with them. You stopped. And so being organized and having lists, whether it be in Google Docs or it be in your notepad and your iPhone or whatever, you have to stay organized. The best way to inspire the masses is to lead from the what? Lead from the front. That's your job. All right, 1.5, get your partner involved. Two heads, what did I say? Two heads, not one head. I'm saying two heads are better than one. Hey, look, you got more contacts to contact. It's good to have somebody watching, helping and pushing for progress. Get a Google Docs partner page to track results and progress. So your partner is that person that's gonna make sure that they're filling in the gaps Unless they're a lead agent with you, they're filling in all the gaps, making sure that you're not missing anything, making sure bonuses get uh, done, you know, hit, making sure that, you know, extra contacts are created, making sure that um, the back office is taken care of, making sure that you're getting paid on things, making sure that, uh, that, 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 the, that, you know, your tracking systems are followed up on as well and make sure those are updated. To win in our business, you must stay very focused for a three to five year period of time. Number two, recruit and train is the best way. When you recruit and train, getting appointments is easy. 10 appointments per week is at least five by 10 per month. 30 appointments per week is at least 20 by 30 and that's going to get you to RVP. So if you want to be an RVP, that's what you do. If you already are 
or an RVP and you want to do 30,000, just focus on 30 base shop appointments. So get the codes, get the recruits, train them, get them licensed. But most importantly, make sure that you're keeping them accountable to get appointments every single week. Sunday night, when you're doing your accountability, make sure that everybody has their appointments booked. Appointments need to be booked all the time. Every day I focus on booking appointments. Every single day I focus on making sure I have an appointment with somebody today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day, as many as possible. Some of you guys are failing miserably right now because you do not have enough appointments. It's not that you're not talented. It's not that you don't know what you're doing. It's not that you know anything is wrong with you. You're motivated. I know you're motivated. I know you want to change your life. I know that you want to do something great. But guess what? You're, you, you, you just don't have enough appointments. You must pay a price. A leader never asks people to do anything that he hasn't already done. Number two, prove to your people that you can win because why? Because you won. Prove that the nasty price is worth it and prove that you are the hardest worker. I always wanted to show people I was the hardest worker. Not because I wanted to beat my chest and say I'm so great. I wanted to prove to my teammates that I was willing to do it first. I was willing to go for it first. I was willing to execute the play first. I was willing to go get the results first. I was willing to go get beat up in the war first, me. Hit me first. Don't hit my guys first. Hit me first. Let me take the hit. Let me invest the money. Let me, you know, take the chance. Let me take the risk first. Then I can tell people, come on, man, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's, come on. Help me out. Help me out. Let, let's do this together. Together, man, we're stronger. We're better. We're tougher. We're meaner. We're greater. Together. Stronger. Together. So much better. So much more exciting when you have that kind of attitude, when you, can, when you have that kind of focus as a leader. That's what people respect anyways. Come on, man. Do you really respect somebody that's lazy? Do you really respect somebody that doesn't get results, that doesn't make money? Of course you don't. Number three, you must get your new recruit to what? Compete. Why should they compete? Why should people compete? They should compete because that's what, you know, fires them up. Remember, most people want to win a trophy far more, especially in the beginning, far more than they want to make money. Most people that come in our business, they already have a job. They're already making money. They're already financially okay. So most people if they're already financially okay, they just want to win a trophy. They, 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 they just want to, want, to, want to have a little pat on the back. They haven't gotten a trophy since Little League. They just want somebody to say, great job, man. I'm proud of you. You're a stud. You're awesome. You're a winner. Man, I'm so excited for you. That's what people want. They want that little pat on the back, man. Like, make me feel, make me feel special. Make me feel important, man. Make me feel like I'm somebody. Because my job sucks. I hate my job. I hate the people I work with. I hate all these. I hate the commute. I hate the all that stuff. Most people feel that way. That's why being in your environment should be an exciting thing for them. Not a not a chore. Not not something that they that they hate. The next thing is you must have a sense of urgency with your new recruits. Be results driven. You got to have a do it now attitude, right? So what I ask my new recruits on Sunday night when I'm making those phone calls and I'm saying, hey, look, look, I'm booking out like crazy. I may not have time to train you this week. If you don't set up appointments this week, I'm going to have to send you out with somebody that's not that good or, you know, or, or you know, not as good as me. You want me to train you, don't you? You want me to, 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 to take you under my wing, right? And, and I just want to let you know, I am the best trainer. There's nobody better than me. You cannot find a better trainer than me. And I just want you to know, you're in great hands with me. 
I am going to, I'm going to be there for you and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to become successful here. That's what you want, isn't it? Okay. Man, that dog is barking. Number four, you must always do what you say you're going to do. Why? To build what? To build credibility so that you can do what's right because your reputation is critical. Your reputation is critical. People need to know that they can count on you, that you're the rock, man. You, you're always there, you always show up, you're always producing, and most important, you're always positive. You're always excited. You're always going somewhere. But when you tell somebody, hey, hey, coach, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to do 10 grand this month. Hey coach, I'm going to go recruit five directs this month. Hey coach, this is what I'm going to do. You can count on me. When you have that kind of attitude, man, people want to follow you more. They know you're serious. They know that you're going to get it done. They know that they can believe in you, which means if they believe in you, they're going to believe way more in themselves. They believe in themselves and they go, you know, I got this. Shit, I, I got this, man. I got, I got a great coach I can follow. I got this. I know I can do this. I know I have what it takes. Man, my coach is always telling me I got what it takes. My coach is always telling me they believe in me. Well, you know what? I'm going to show them that they're right. Get the doubts and the hesitations out of your effing mind. You have to be thinking in your mind, hey, look, if they believe in me, I'm going to believe in myself. Because it's the doubts and the hesitations that are affecting your execution. The next thing is follow up often, right? A phone call a day will keep poverty away. Now you got texting. You can text people every single day. Just a phone call a, uh, 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 and say hi. Always be positive. Highly motivated. Sell the vision for the future. Let them know that you know exactly where you're going. And by the way, you got to tell people where you're going. You got to tell people, look, I'm going to build the biggest base shop in this damn company. I'm going to get more recruits this month than anybody in my organization, in my hierarchy. Right? Sell a vision. We're going to be number one in the state of California. I promise you. I sold that vision to my guys. And we were number one in the state of California at one point. So we sold that vision. I remember taking the number one guy, we took his picture, we put it up on the wall and we threw darts at his face. Because we had a vision, man. They knew where we were going. They knew where I was going to go. And for that new recruit, you might just need to tell them, hey, look, we're going to get you financially independent. We're going to get you to quit that job that you hate so much. That's the vision in the beginning. It doesn't have to be a grand vision in the beginning because they don't know nothing about nothing. So you might want to just keep it simple and just say, hey, man, uh, uh, you know, that goal that you told me you wanted, the vision is, I'm going to help you get it. And I just want to let you know, man, you give me a little bit of faith, I promise you, I will not let you down. Leadership. It's inspiration, nothing more, nothing less. Inspire your people. Then recognize the ones that go do it recognize the people that are, that are going to do exactly what they say they're going to do. Recognize those people, inspire people, recognize the ones that are, that are pushing hard because leadership is an inspiration business. It's always been an inspiration business. It always will be an inspiration business. The reason why it's an inspiration business is because people have lost hope in their lives. They stopped believing in themselves. They stopped believing that it was possible to be somebody, to change their lives. They, they, they stopped, they lost, you know, all, you know, possibilities for them. So when you as the leader, when you, when you share with them a vision, and when you share with them results and how you're winning and how you're getting things done and how it actually works, you inspire them to feel like they can do it too. And man, once people feel like they can do it, they want to follow you. 
They don't want to be like you. They want a chance too. A lot of uncertainty out there right now. A lot of people are down and out, man. A lot of people losing their jobs. A lot of people sick. A lot of people not, you know, accomplishing their goals and dreams. A lot of people are sitting there going, God, please, man, just show me a chance. Give me an opportunity too. I, I, I promise you, I'll roll up my sleeves. I'll get dirty. I'll work my ass off. I promise you. I'll get the job done, but I just need a chance. I just need an opportunity. That's all. I don't know if I'll be good enough. I don't know if I'll make it overnight. I, I don't know if it's going to work out exactly the, the way I planned it to work out. But guess what? If you give me a chance, this is what people are, this is what people are saying. Just give me a shot and I'll do it. I'll go for it. Um, you know, you got to equip your people, right? Duplication, you know, right? Uh, YouTube channel, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, CDs, right? Um, how to close workshop DVD, DVDs, the company website, all these different places that you can equip your people. First thing you want to do, man, somebody gets in the business, you want to get them on your YouTube channel or, or get them on my YouTube channel. Let me train them. Let me teach them how to set up appointments. Let me show them the ropes. Doesn't matter. They're on your team. If they, if they end up listening and getting good, of course, they're, they're gonna, you're going to benefit. Not me. They're going to they're gonna benefit. You're going to benefit. Everybody's going to benefit. But equip your people. The next thing is you must recruit the right type of people, right? I want to recruit greenies. I, want to, I, I, I don't want to recruit fancy people. I don't want to recruit prima donnas. I don't want to recruit slick sales people. I want, I want young, man. I want 18 to 40 years old background in sports, competitive is all, you know, break loose, man. You know, married kids, home job. 30,000 in income. I, I want teachers. I want coaches. I want, you know, firefighters. I want warehouse workers. I want people just like they want to be somebody. They want to win again in their life. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for everyone. I know everybody's not going to join me in business. I know every, look, everybody's not going to do what they say they're going to do anyways, but I want to give everybody a shot, everybody a chance. And let's see which ones are willing to step up and play. Get on the damn field. No excuses. No bullshit excuses. I want to find the people that want to play. They want to compete. They want to win. They want to make a lot of money. They want to get massive, passive residual income. Freaking change their life forever. I'm looking for people like that. I'm not looking for whiners and complainers and crybabies and, and people that always tell me how it can't be done versus, versus convince me how it can be done. Don't you want to, don't you want to work with people like that? So I want to, I want to work with the right kind of people. Those people are winners. Those people will ultimately shine amongst the rest of the world and they'll make their dreams come true. And, and, and if I can help them make more money, I make more money. If I can help them succeed, I, you know, in their life, I succeed more. So it's a complete win, win chance for them and me. Everybody wins. Isn't that a good thing? Um, you must, you must break your goals into four weeks. Okay. What do I mean by that? So you're going to take a sheet of paper, right? And, and, and you're going to, you're going to set up a, um, a, a little chart. Okay. A little chart. And, and you're going to look at your, uh, your month and you're going to make sure that you're organized in the sense that you're going to have a, a written log of all your sales, of all your recruits, of all your new licensed agents, of all your ancillary product sales. And you're going to break it up in four weeks and you're going to play this game like a game. You're going to play this business like a game, like a football game. Football game consists of four quarters. 
So I'm gonna break my, my, my business up into four weeks. So if I wanna do 10,000 in personal production, then I need to do uh, four by 10 in a month. I'm gonna do one recruit and 2,500 in production each week. And if I could do that week after week after week after week, bam, I got 10,000 in production. I got four by 10 personal month after month after month. I duplicate that a couple of times with a couple of different people. Bam, I go RVP just like that. It's not that complicated guys, but you got to do it first. That's why leadership is so incredibly important. It's why you need to decide to become the leader because if you don't become the leader, you'll never duplicate anything. If you're waiting around for somebody else to go do it first, you're, you might be waiting for the rest of your life. See, I ain't waiting around for nobody. But would I like more people to jump on my bandwagon and, 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 and go the journey with me? Of course I would. But, but I can't guarantee that that's going to happen. All I can really focus on is what I'm going to do, of how I'm going to do. And so if I do well, I can share that inspiration with other people. I can get some people to duplicate that process. Next thing you know, now we have a giant team. Now we have an organization. Now we have a real hierarchy in the making. But it all starts with you and it all starts with that decision, right? You must be results driven for the sake of the new recruit, right? You got to keep getting them on appointments and getting results, right? When you go, right, the, the reason... The reason, well, it's got a fly in my, uh, my eye, <laughs> okay. For the sake of the new recruit, if you want them to keep setting up appointments for you, you must get results. The reason that I close, the reason why I talk about results, the reason why I close is because uh, I want to make sure that the new recruit is still excited. When they go on an appointment and I get a result, even though they didn't make a whole lot of money on that appointment, maybe just a little bonus or something like that, they're excited. They're excited because they got results. They're, they got, they, by the way, they're excited that they know now that results are possible and results are real. And so they're going to be you know, jacked up and excited to go set more appointments. And if I get, so if I go on appointment, if I go on appointments with them and I don't get results, if I, if I'm not learning my craft and getting better and improving things like that, then, then you understand they're not going to continue to set up appointments. You don't get results. They quit and you got to start all over and find somebody else. I'm just telling you that when I would go on an appointment with a new recruit, and that's why I studied and mastered my craft every single day. That's why I learned how to overcome objections. That's, how, that's why I, I always listen to the greats on how to influence people to our way of thinking. Always was great at learning how to ask the right questions. Because if I can ask the right questions, there's a, a higher likelihood that the client is going to say yes. And the more yeses I got, the more inspired my new recruits were. More new recruits I had that were excited and inspired, that's when things started to get fun. That's when I started really growing the business. So results are what matter, right? You can tell me you're going to do a great job. That's wonderful. And I like that, that you have goals. But if you're not getting actual results, then none of that other shit really matters. Your job is to get results. Your job is to improve. Your job is to get better. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to be great overnight. But if you keep making progress, if you keep getting better, if you keep learning the process, you're going to get so good that you're going to be able to right, have your own ATM machine. What does that mean? That means that you can print money whenever you want. Once you know how to get results, you can get up every single day and you can say, look, I want to print some money today. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go set up an appointment. I'm going to go close a sale. Pretty simple. I, I, I'm, I'm going to go get a recruit and have them set up a bunch of appointments for me. So that way I could take them and get them on training appointments, qualified training appointments, and I'm going to get results for them. They win. I win. Everybody wins. 
but I'm, I'm just going to print my own money every single day. However much money you want to make, you could go out there and start creating that right now. So here's that 90 day cycle. And I think I'm going to stop with that because I think um, I'm out of time. We're going to get to some questions. Yep. I went over. So I'm going to start, I'm going to stop with that right now with the 90 day cycle. So this is what I did. I basically just on the top row, it's, it's the recruits. So my goal was to do four directs every month and to do 12 life insurance sales every single month. And uh, that's what I did for years and years and years and years. I hope that helps you guys.